In tonight's top story, students from Caddo Parish High Schools are speaking about the importance of their mental health after 22 students from Southwood High School were either suspended, expelled, or arrested for fighting in just two days. NBC 6's Shirley Busico has the latest. Caddo Parish Magnet High Senior Autumn Summers believes school fights are just the tip of the iceberg. Um, because a lot of students who get into fights, often there's something stressful going on at home. And the way our schools deal with it is they penalize a student when they really should be taking a step back and analyzing what's causing those fights in the first place. Caddo Parish schools are under fire recently for excessive fights last week. It, it's the whole student body. It's not just Southwood. It's again C.E. Bird. They had two, three fights. Captain Shreve had quite a few. At Airline they had fights. They were ripping off doors of the bathroom and stealing toilets. Shatorius Taylor, who attends C.E. Bird, says the school administration is not listening when parents or students come to them for help. Try to tell the parents and the parents come to the proper sources and they still don't take it seriously and then they get to these schools and the fight breaks out and you want to send them home when they try to come to a resolution before it got to bed. We need to have something where administrators talk to students, they ask them why they got into the fight and they don't just ask them but they push them to really understand why so many students are getting into fights, why so many students are involved in violence. It's not, a lot of the times it's not because they're just bad people. Oftentimes it's because that they're, there's something at home. Instead of expelling them or sending them home or suspending them, the probability of them even coming back alive is very slim, and, and that's the truth. So if you send a, a child and you suspend them or expel them, their parents still have to go to work, and if they're in these troubled neighborhoods and areas and mom and dad has to work, what does that leave the child? The solution, they say, is mental health counseling in the schools. A lot of students don't have that. They don't have that at home or they don't have friends who they can talk to about certain things. So we need to have at least one person on campus who is trained to deal with how students' mental health is. Shirley Busico, NBC6 News.